Well hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm here in the heart of the Herefordshire countryside and my accommodation is uh, to the right there, uh, Mole Hill Hut and just over my right hand shoulder is uh, a second build that um, we can actually, um, I can paint in, I can relax in, um, but obviously we've got both of them and uh, I'm here to paint the lovely countryside of Herefordshire, which um, I've not done before. Um, the sun's going down, so I may even paint a um, sunset very shortly, but I'm really looking forward to the week. Well, hi everyone. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, I've just returned from a lovely trip to Herefordshire and had a lovely week up there painting. and. Uh, I started off on my first evening because from where we were staying, Mold Hill Hut in Herefordshire, um, we're actually overlooking a wide expanse of um, hills and and trees and it, it's it's really an idyllic place to spend uh, a week and um, obviously well not obviously but we do get the sun go down right behind our accommodation and this really inspired me to paint this subject um, it's uh, just a view of a tree with um, distant trees a bit of hill work um, and the sun disappearing over the meadow in the uh, foreground and this coming Friday I will be leading you through the complete painting process. Um, my normal time, uh, it will be uploaded at 6 p.m. UK time, but obviously you can uh, source it any time after that. And I'll actually be showing you how I started, how I painted this, uh, starting plein air, and finished um, painting in uh, in the trough uh, that I used as a small studio. Um, uh, for my holiday um, but uh, generally um, it's a lovely scene so what I'm going to do I'm just going to pull in a little closer and uh, just run through basically how I painted it just to give you a bit of a taster for this coming Friday well there you are I've pulled in a little closer to this lovely scene um, and basically it wasn't that difficult to paint and it's not that uh, um, it didn't take long so the video is not all that long um, but I put in a deep blue sky and it's dried lighter than perhaps I really wanted um, but uh, sometimes on a photograph like this it doesn't show the full potential of the depth of colors but anyway uh, the sky was laid in then I added I think I used um, ultramarine for the sky then I added a little alizarin and a bit more alizarin and then some yellowing around where the sun is just going down and I painted that right through to the edge of the field then obviously I needed that to dry um, but just before it did I painted in a little bit of hill work there is some hill work behind there although it got lost in my um, um, in my excitement to put in the darker tones against the light sky uh, later on but anyway I did the distant hill so that's what you've got to do first do any distance work first then I allowed it to dry and while that was drying I laid in this uh, very light grey and then introducing a little bit of uh, uh, yellow yellow into the mix to create a, a, a darker green and then some really dark tones and some dark reds as well just to give a hint that we've got a little bit of reflection but I, notice how I kept it all light where the sun is it gives a lovely feeling of um, a sunlit area in front of uh, uh, the hedge once it's completely dry <clears throat> I then painted in the uh, the lovely large tree there, the hedging, some distant trees. <coughs> I did add a, a little bit more blue to these. Uh, <coughs> that's quite blue. I think you'll find it's ultramarine yet again. I didn't uh, use many different colours, to be honest with you. Um, but you'll hear the colours as I paint 
uh, on Friday and then I painted in the distant uh, uh, um, tree work beyond the hedge I left a little bead there an um, unpainted um, area and um, that's the original sky and distant land painting then I went very very dark in front of the tree and um, then finally I put in a little bit of texture work in the foreground just to give a feeling um, that uh, it's a it's a meadow and not a mown um, sort of grass and then finally a few birds in the sky uh, obviously signed up and uh, but that's basically the principle behind this lovely sunset that I um, that I saw virtually every night to be quite honest when I was uh, in Herefordshire um, but um, there you have it well there you have it that's uh, basically how this um, watercolor was painted um, so watch out for my video coming out on my YouTube channel this coming Friday 6 p.m. UK time um, where I will actually be leading you through and painting this in real time um, partly plein air then I moved back into um, the uh, well, they call it the trough at the accommodation, but I used a small part of it as a filming area uh, to finish the painting off. So I hope you've enjoyed that, and we'll see you all again this coming Friday, 6pm UK time. Take care and happy painting. Well, there is the view.